So this video will cover section 9.2, um, the reaction of a branched lowry acid with a branched lowry base. So here we have the generic form of an acid base reaction according to the branched lowry uh, theory. So the acid is symbolized by HA and the base by B with the wrong pair. And uh, as we said earlier, uh, the acid base reaction is uh, the transfer of proton from the acid to the base. So the acid is a, a proton donor, so it will lose the H plus. So the acid, when it loses the H plus, uh, becomes the A minus with the lone pair because the bond between the H and A uh, stays with the A and makes a lone pair, and then uh, A has a negative charge because it's an extra electron for A, and H leaves with, without any electrons, and that's why it's an H plus. And so uh, the um, product formed by the loss of a proton from an acid is called its conjugate base. So A minus is the conjugate base of the acid HA. So the only difference between the two is an H plus. And now uh, the base, if we look at the base B with the lone pair, uh, when it gains and accepts a proton, it becomes HB with a positive charge. And so the base now uh, uh, is forming a bond with the hydrogen using that lone pair it had. And so there is a single bond now with, between H and B and the hydrogen came uh, with a positive charge, so the overall Hb has a positive charge as well. And so Hb plus is the conjugate acid of the base. So the product formed by the gain of a proton by a base is called the conjugate acid. So Hb plus is the conjugate acid of the base B. And the only difference between the two is an H plus. So uh, we say that uh, H A and A minus are forming an acid base conjugate pair. And then uh, H B plus and B uh, are forming another acid base conjugate pair. So let's look at uh, something similar, but this time uh, with the real uh, elements. So it's not a generic form of the reaction. It's a reaction where you have HBr, so that's the acid, and H2O will play the role of the base. So HBr, when it loses an H plus and donates its H plus, it becomes Br minus. And so Br minus is the conjugate base of the acid HBr. So that's why we say HBr and Br minus are a conjugate acid base pair. And then uh, in this example, water is acting as a base uh, because it accepts the proton, it accepts the H plus. And when uh, a lone pair on the oxygen uh, makes a bond with the H plus, uh, then water becomes the H3O plus ion. And so the H3O plus uh, is a conjugate acid to water as a base. So we say that the H3O plus and H2O uh, together are forming a conjugate acid-base pair. And so notice how uh, the net charge must be the same on both sides of the equation. So uh, HBr plus H2O, uh, this is neutral overall on the left side of the arrows. And if you look on the right side, we have one negative charge on Br minus and one positive charge on H3O plus. And so the positive and negative charge cancel out. And so it's neutral overall on the right side as well. So let's do a learning check where we learn to uh, write the conjugate base and the conjugate acid of uh, some given formulas here. So let's do part A, where we write the conjugate base of the following. So if you want to find the conjugate base of these, that means you need to consider these formulas as uh, acids, right? They are your acids, and you want to find their, what they become when they lose an H+. So uh, HBr 
uh, we saw already that when you are uh, giving an H plus from HBr, then it becomes Br minus. And you can um, check that your answer is correct by uh, adding an H plus back to the conjugate base. And if you add H plus to Br minus, you can see that you retrieve HBr. It becomes neutral because the positive charge from H plus cancels the negative charge from Br minus. H2S. So remove only an H, one H plus from H2S. It, uh, H2S is your acid. It donates an H plus and becomes. So if you remove an H, it will become HS. So the two, the subscript two will disappear. And then when H leaves, it, it uh, leaves with a positive charge and leaves behind a negative charge. So it's going to be HS negative one. So to make sure this is the correct formula, you can add an H plus back to it to uh, check that you retrieve the H2S formula. And so here HS negative one plus H plus uh, will make H2S and then the positive charge will cancel the negative charge. So that's the correct uh, conjugate base formula for H2S. H2CO3, when uh, it donates an H plus, what does it become? So if you remove an H plus, that means the H2 here will become just HCO3 and then the H plus leaves with a positive charge and uh, leaves behind an, an electron. So then HCO3 will have one negative charge because of that extra electron. So it's going to be HCO3 negative one because uh, if you check that uh, when you add H plus back to it, you can see that you will retrieve H2CO3 because you will have then two H's, so H2, CO3, and then the positive charge will cancel the negative charge. So H, CO3, negative one is the conjugate base of H2, CO3. Uh, fourth case, H2, B, P, O4, negative one. So what is the conjugate base of that? So that means you need to remove an H plus from this formula. If you remove an H plus, uh, so from two H's you will have one. So it's going to be H, you remove the subscript two. So HPO4. And uh, when uh, the H plus uh, leaves, H2PO4 negative one, uh, it leaves behind an electron. And so uh, you will have a second negative charge that will add up to the first uh, negative charge that is already there. So it's going to be HPO4, uh, two negative charges, right? So one hydrogen uh, left and then uh, an extra uh, electron also left. So that's why you have two negative charges. Um, and you can see that if you add H plus back to this uh, HPO4 negative two, you will retrieve H2PO4 negative one. Because here, another H will mean H2PO4, and then the positive charge from the hydrogen will cancel one of the negative charge of uh, the two negative charge of HPO4. And you will retrieve H2PO4 negative one. So these were the conjugate base of acids. Now in part B, we want to write the conjugate acid of uh, these uh, uh, symbols. And these represent then uh, bases. So these are bases. And you want to find what they become when they accept a proton. And so when they become their conjugate acid. So NO2 negative one is a base. And to find its conjugate acid formula, you want to add H plus to it. So this time we are not removing H plus, we are adding H plus to find the conjugate acid. So the formula will become H 
because you write the H as first in the uh, formula. So H N O two, and then the positive charge from H plus will cancel the negative charge of uh, N O two negative one, and it's going to be neutral, right? So if you add H plus, uh, it's becoming H N O two. So N H three. Let's find the conjugate acid of uh, ammonia N H three by adding an H plus to this formula. So if you add an H plus, so here uh, it's an exception. You will not add the H as first in the formula. Uh, ammonia uh, becomes the ammonium ion where you have NH4. So you add the H uh, in the list of hydrogens that are already air there. And then the H plus will come as a positive charge. And so it will show up as a positive charge. And so NH3 uh, has uh, NH4 plus as a conjugate acid. OH minus, what is the conjugate acid of OH minus? Uh, so add an H plus to it. So OH minus plus H plus, that's going to be two hydrogens and one oxygen. And the positive charge will cancel the negative charge. And uh, if you pay attention, you see that two hydrogens and one oxygen, it's actually water. And we write it as H2O. So here again, uh, you would not place the H as first in the formula. Or you could, but then you should see that it's two hydrogens and one oxygen, and that's water. And uh, last, H2PO4 negative one. So let's find the conjugate acid formula for this by adding an H plus to it. So if you add an, an H plus, you will have three hydrogens. And so this will uh, change the subscript of H2 into H3, PO4. And then the positive charge from the H plus will cancel the negative charge from the PO4, H2, PO4. And you will have something neutral and it's H3, PO4. Phosphoric acid is the conjugate acid of H2PO4 negative 1. So, um, some vocabulary here. Enphoteric, an enphoteric substance can act as either an acid or a base because they both have a transferable proton or H and an atom with a lone pair of electrons. And uh, water is a typical example of an enphoteric substance because water can act as a base. So as a base, uh, it has a lone pairs on oxygen that can accept protons. So if you um, place water in presence of protons, uh, the water will accept the protons and become H3, uh, H3O plus the hydronium ion because you see that the H plus uh, can make a, a bond with a, one of the lone pair and now you have three bonds with the uh, H plus so three bonds with hydrogens and still a lone pair on oxygen and this is positively charged because uh, water was neutral and the, and the H plus comes with a positive charge so overall now it's H3 O plus uh, the conjugate acid of water. And now if we look at water acting as an acid, so as an acid, it should uh, donate a proton. So this time you want to remove an H plus from the formula of H2O and find out what is the uh, uh, symbol when you have removed an H plus. So if you remove an H plus, uh, one of the single bond will become a lone pair. And then uh, because the hydrogen lives without any electrons, then you will have an, an extra electron left over. And that's going to be then OH minus. And that's the conjugate base of uh, water when water is an acid. So those two ions, H3O plus and OH minus, are the hydronium and hydroxide ion. And that's the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of water, depending if water is an acid or a base.
So let's go through uh, this learning check where we uh, will need to identify the conjugate acid-base pairs in the following reactions. And uh, the text doesn't say it, but I would like you to uh, write down below each uh, substance, uh, if it's an acid, a base, a conjugate acid, or a conjugate base. And we will start by doing this. So let's start with HBr plus NH3 gives Br minus plus uh, NH4 plus, the ammonium ion. So um, you need to identify which one of the two reactants are the acid and which one is the base. So you want to find what they become on the other side of the arrow. And so let's, let's look at HBr. HBr, we can recognize here that it becomes Br minus. So it lost an H plus, it donated an H plus. And when a substance donates an H plus, it's the acid. So HBr is your acid in this reaction. So if HBr is the acid, then NH3 will be necessarily the base, but let's uh, check that for sure. So NH3, what does it become on the other side of the arrow? It becomes NH4 plus with one extra proton. It accepted a proton. So that makes NH3 a base because it accepted a proton and beca became NH4 plus. And so Br minus, is it the conjugate acid or the conjugate base? And so uh, because Br minus came from the acid here, and so it's going to be the conjugate base of the acid, right? The acid, when it loses its H plus, becomes a base. And so it's the conjugate base of the acid HBr. And NH4 plus uh, came from the base NH3. And so it's the acidic version. And it's the conjugate acid of NH3, the base. And so the two uh, conjugate acid base pairs are HBr and Br minus form one acid base pair. You can see from the formulas that the only difference is an H plus. And then the other uh, acid base conjugate pair is NH, NH4 plus NH3. So let's write the acid first and then the base. So NH4 plus is the acid and NH3 is the base. And the only difference between the two is an H plus. Let's go through the second example. H2SO4 plus H2O in equilibrium with HSO4 negative one and H3O plus. So let's look at what H2SO4 becomes uh, from the left to the right. And here we can see that it becomes HSO4 negative one. So from H2SO4 to HSO4 negative one, there is an H plus that has been gone. So H2SO4 donated an H plus, so it acted as an acid here. And uh, H2O then should be the base because if you have an acid, then the other one, the other reactant should be the base. And let's verify that. What uh, water becomes uh, from left to right, it becomes H3O plus. So it accepted a proton from going from left to right. So that means it's acting as a base, accepting a proton. And so HSO4 negative one is uh, the conjugate base of the acid H2SO4 because when H2SO4 donates a proton, it becomes HSO4 negative one. And uh, so that's the conjugate base of the acid H2SO4. And uh, water, when it became H3O plus, uh, it became the conjugate acid of H2O because now it has the proton and so it's the acidic version of the pair. And so the two acid base pairs are H2SO4 and HSO4 negative one, right? The two uh, are different by just an H plus. 
So you have the acid on the left, the conjugate base on the right. And then the other pair is uh, H3O plus and OH uh, sorry, H3O plus and H2O. The hydronium ion and the water are forming an acid base pair because between the two there is only a, an H plus uh, difference. And the H3O plus is the conjugate acid of water as a base. Let's look at the third example. HCO3 negative 1 plus H2O in equilibrium with H2CO3 and OH minus. So let's look at what HCO3 negative 1 becomes uh, on the right side of the arrow. And here we can see that uh, um, from HCO3 negative 1 to H2CO3, we have gained a proton. We, the uh, HCO3 negative 1 accepted a proton. So it acted as a base. So that's our base. And uh, then water should be the acid. And let's uh, look at this. Water, uh, when it uh, goes through the reaction, becomes OH minus. And you can see that water, when it becomes OH minus, it lost an H plus and donated an H plus. And that's the behavior of an acid. And now H2CO3 is the conjugate acid of the base HCO3 negative 1, because you can see that when the base accepted a proton, it became H2CO3. So that's the acidic version of the pair. And we call that the conjugate acid of the base HCO3 negative 1. And OH minus is the conjugate base of water as an acid. You can see that when water is uh, losing uh, an H plus, it becomes an OH minus. And so that's the basic uh, version of the pair. So the two conjugate acid base pair are H2CO3 and HCO3 negative one, right? And the only difference between the two, uh, acid first, base second, uh, is an H plus. And the other uh, pair is uh, H2O and OH minus. You can see from H2O to OH minus that you donated a proton and now you're left with only OH minus. And so OH minus is the conjugate base of water as an acid.